hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is tommy james in case you're new here and if you're not new thank you so very much for coming back to my channel today so guys in today's video we'll be making this beautiful beautiful baby we know that we all know that the the price of um closures front house is a bit expensive right now and as an hair vendor or someone that likes to you know rock braid wigs you do not want to spend a fortune on braid on closures for braid how about i tell you that with your attachment you can make this beautiful baby right if that sounds like something you're interested in if that sounds like something you really want to learn you definitely want to keep on watching So guys this is what we'll be working with our 4x4 four four closure what you call 4x4 four 4x4 four, four four. same process for either frontal 6x6 six 5x5 six, five five, depending on what you want so guys I'm just trying to map out just to show you how to you know create a box a guideline for what you're doing because if you're a first timer you need a guideline I actually ended up not following this line because it was different from what I once said you understand so i'm just creating a box using my um tape rule to know exactly how many inches i want then just using my eye pencil to map it all out that is just what i'm doing basically so i'm just going to decide if it is four rows if it is three on a line four on a, depending on what you want you can make even 10 on a row just what you want just how tiny or how big you want your closure or front out to be so I'm just going to create the box for you to see yeah guys so I know I went in to make quite a few quite a lot actually but the process is just repeat same process repeat and so we do not need to make the video unnecessarily long okay but don't worry i'm going to feed you all in on what has happened i have these two boxes that is more than enough for this tutorial so do not worry i'm just going to quickly feed you on what has happened so far i had just created i didn't follow the line obviously i did not follow the line i just created my own shape because this is for a customer and i had to ask how big and large or small she wants her um, boxes to be so she just wanted the size but however right i made i made it i made the front smaller i'm going to explain this later please i'm so sorry about that but at the back i'm going to show you the back in a bit okay i'm just trying to tell you that i i made four per row but at the back right i made five i hope you can see that i made five all right this is just so it can cover the tracks at the back i do not want the white net showing when i braid on it however if this is the size you made if this is how small your um, boxes are all of it you do not need to make a smaller a even smaller one at the back this is just because these ones i made are big and i just need smaller ones at the back to cover the track this will just you know help to make it look more professional you know the tracks are not showing we do not want any white net showing at the back of our braid because that is not so cool so that is just why i ventilated five at the back and then the normal four that my customer wants at the other places so guys we are just going to get right into the video i'm going to just sit down to make this because i want you guys to see it clearly and i want to be as comfortable as i can be so guys this is what we have what i'm going to say first is that concentrate on each o each of this o is your business do not think about the o net at once just think about each of this o concentrate on each of you have to really concentrate on each o because if you focus on a hole and ventilate then you just realize that with time you've you're done ventilating so guys i forgot to mention that the attachment i used is um this coily attachment this crochet 
that has coils at the end and because i like to make it look very silky human hair type i do not like to use the total jet black kind of attachment no i prefer this color this human hair kind of color you get this is just to make it look more professional and by the way this is what we are going to be using a ventilating pin you can definitely use a crochet pin just get the most tiniest one like the tiniest one you can get because you do not want to ruin your net so guys how i made going back to how i made my um attachment look more you know you don't i do not want it to be very hard like you know that kind of attachment feel i just went ahead to soak it in and revamp it before i started like i revamped the attachment this is just to make it look more you know soft it's not looking ashy and all of that so guys we already have a guideline right and so i'm just going to follow the guideline i'm just going to you know follow each of this line if you're starting just start somewhere pick a hole and start make the size you want you get and just start with so guys this is what you're going to do right just count the holes to the number you start the, um, the line i'm going to be following sorry please the camera is a bit shaky i'm just going to be following the exact line that this one started from you see i'm counting that line and then i'm starting at where this one started from the next one counting the line you see and i'm just going to put in my crochet pin i mean my ventilating pin i'm just going to put it right in i'm not going to push it out too much because we do not want to ruin our nets guys then i'm going to pick my um attachment you want to pick smaller um strands you do not want to pick too much so that you do not just get it all messed up and everything is on your way you get so having that already in our net i'm just going to let my attachments pick you know go right into the hook and just pull it out of the net like so and then guys i'm going to push the attachment in pick um this one like just what i'm doing right now then bend i'm going to do that again pack this roll over and then being very precise i'm going to push it outside the loop like so and i'm going to hold grip of my attachment and just let my hook you know drag it out i'm definitely going to do that again you just want to follow the same process keep following each row each line i know you guys guys another thing i want to mention is this uh, you might be wondering why it's not falling out while i even roll over with my um pin this is because at the top here there is a gutter like a stopper that is doing the job it's no magic it is what will stop the hair from falling off while you ventilate so guys i have done this off camera i just followed the same line the same process just the line just on a straight line doing the same thing following the line being precise starting where the other one started from and stopping where it stopped just so to have that accurate box there is no magic you just have to follow the guideline guys let me sincerely apologize for doing this off camera a lot of frustration came while i had this video my camera went off my light went off so guys i'm just trying to explain to you that vertically you are going to skip one hole and ventilate the next skip one hole and ventilate the next this is just so you can have a straight line because if you follow each um o like the horizontal one you're going to have this kind of zigzag um line and we, are, we want a straight line so you're just going to skip the next and ventilate the other skip the next and ventilate the other that way you will have a straight line then i just want to do the next line the very next one so that you know it's it's more filled up it looks fuller doesn't look scanty so i'm just going to ventilate the next unlike this we just you know 
did all the line straight but here you want to skip one o and ventilate the next if you do not do this you will not have a straight line at all so i'm just going to do i'm just going to follow the guidelines So guys i'm done with that so i am just going to go on with the horizontal aspect i hope you all can see this i made it twice and it has filled up it has it doesn't look so scanty again so i'm just going to repeat in the same process i'm just going to ventilate horizontally just on a straight line like so following the same guideline the same line accurately this is that's just all you need you need to be very conscious of your lines you need to see it that's why i said you have to follow each or you have to deal with each of the hole do not think about the net itself each of the hole so i'm just going to ventilate like i normally do So guys now that we are done with our box what we are going to do is just ventilate inside the box scantily just you just ventilate scantily just any number you please just how filled or how full you need it so i'm just going to ventilate scantily just just anywhere no particular guideline just so to fill it up so it's not looking scanty and all of that you can do as much as you want ventilate as much as you want guys so i'm just going to do that so guys after we've done that we have a perfect box already so we just want to keep our box out of the way we want to pack all the strands you get so it's just out of the way what i like to do here is to add my hedge control just a little pieces I'm just trying to still remove all the you know just put it in place make sure that it is well defined i like to use my hedge control you can use shine and jam i'll just pick just a little just a little a very very little quantity and just use it to you know i'll use it around the area the edges just to put it in place just to make it stay put i do not want any flyaways i do not want I don't want it rough so i'm just going to it helps the attachment to even look more silky you know more well done so that's what i'm going to do and i'm just going to braid it just so to keep it out of place to put it in place i do not want it around i do not want it disturbing my next one So guys moving on to the next box it's just the same repeat process just the same thing but i just want to see if i could explain the things i didn't explain so you want to have your hair at the middle of your finger you want to fold it into two following the box following the line you're just going to follow the guideline just the exact or where this one the last one we made where it started from and so you just want to be so sure you want to focus on each of the line you want to be very specific do not rush just take your time because if you mess it up 
you it will be very difficult to you know remove and you might even ruin your net and that's not so good So guys this is what we have this is what our finished look is looking like and i think this is super super beautiful this looks nice this is something you should try you do not want to waste a fortune on closures and front house for your braid i'm probably going to make a video of how i made this into a wig it's for your braid wig i'm probably going to make that video so guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give this video a huge thumbs up please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't please guys i really need all your love all the subscription so guys until i see all of you all of you amazing people in my next video please stay safe i love you